Hey guys, Zilla here and today I'm going to do a different video. This is the first video where I'm actually in it and it's not just a tribute video. Now, I apologise for all the sounds in the background, the windows open, it's a very hot day today here and I apologise for all the cars in the background but this is my first video so, well, with me in it at least. I'm not very experienced with this but, well, I today I'm going to be doing a review of this dinosaur figure that I have because over the years I've been collecting dinosaur figures and I'm going to start with one of my favourite ones and here it is. It's the Vastatosaurus Rex from 2005's Peter Jackson's King Kong and I've had this for a while now, I really like it, it's a really good design even though this isn't really a collectible design, it's more of an actual play design but it's still really good like you see it, you've got some seams here which could be done a little bit better but as I've already said it's a more of a play toy and let me just raise this a bit and there you go, get a better look at him and he's got very crocodilian like scales, like this isn't meant to be accurate as Peter Jackson said in the film, these creatures are meant to be scary and not accurate. However, it does look pretty damn good honestly, like realism wise, it's got no feathers, of course dinosaurs didn't have crocodilian scales on most of them didn't. But I've got to say Peter Jackson did make um, a very good design with this Vastatosaurus Rex or V-Rex or whatever you want to call it, you can even just call it a T-Rex if you really wanted to. However, there are a few key differences to the V-Rex and the T-Rex. One is the V-Rex's skull is much shorter, you can't really see it, but it's a different skull shape and T-Rex most likely didn't have teeth like showing, it probably was covered by a lips. And the V-Rex also has three fingers as you can see here, and it's not very good because this is filmed on an iPad, but uh, you can sort of see it's got three fingers instead of two like the T-Rex had. And its feet are a lot more splayed out and more pointed upwards and wonky and well also it's broken as you can see jaw's supposed to close up and down with this thing but it broke in like three days when i first got it so it's very second hand it must be second hand at least or even third hand maybe or more however no, this is one of them actually you have one of this contraption thing it came with some like human little figures who i don't really I lost them they're not really a big deal, however. It also came with a, a King Kong figure, because I bought this, like, a bundle. And I have that somewhere, I have a few of those actually, but it's not my favourite Kong that figure that I have. However, uh, this is the only Vastatosaurus Rex. I would prefer to have two of these, like, a smaller one, like, you, you can buy the smaller ones. And then I can have two, like, do uh, the scene from the film. I mean, there's three in that, but two's good enough. Even I don't think one's really scary enough but there's a couple of other cool features you can pull its tail off i don't know why you'd want to maybe unless you want the tail in a shot for animation or you want kong to literally or another dinosaur to literally rip its tail off but don't know why you'd want to really it's pretty pointless the tail's also got like some i think there's like either club or feathers on the end most likely feathers and by the way here's the inside of his mouth um yeah you can fit little toys down it you put my finger right down there and there's also a, it also has sound, it's not very good. A little chomp sound there. It sounds like the film one, like more squealing rather than roaring. However, still overall it's a really good figure and I can't really get these anymore I'd say. I mean you can, they'd just be really expensive and old second hand. I'm glad I've got this one though. And it's still in decent condition, like not too stiff. I also don't know which one of the movie this is, if it's the male, the female or the juvenile. Most likely the male because the female's back was like more arched forward, if you know what I mean. But yeah, anyway, that was it, the Vastatosaurus Rex toy review and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Sorry if I wasn't like very confident or very like enthusiastic because this is my first talking video. So hopefully I'll improve, but for now like... Oh, also just didn't realise, <laughs> got a little mistake here, look at that. Yeah, it's one of the faults, the many faults of this figure. However, far more positives and negatives with this figure and I really like it. I'm hoping to get the more realistic, more collectible versions of these one day, but for now this is the only one I've got. But it's a good figure, very good. I'm going to give it, I'd say I'd give it 
7 out of 10 below because it's, I mean, it's easy to play with, like kids could play with this definitely, it's not like a collectible where if it breaks you can't, like, not play with it if you know what I mean, however like jaw thing it's probably on a rubber band, most likely why it snapped, so yeah that's the downside with it and the little seams on it aren't very good, but overall good figure and if you can get it and you like collecting these sort of stuff I'd recommend it, anyway. Peace.